What we do as advocates is hard on the mind, heart, and body. As advocates, we need tools to counter burnout and foster resilience among the ranks of volunteers to do the work to enable millions of smokers to have the choice and options they need to move away from the thing that will kill them to the thing that saved us from certain death. In this series, we are going to cover a range of topics, as requested by the advocates themselves, to provide them the information and support they need to keep calm and carry on. In this episode, we are covering the practice of self-care. The struggle with leaving work at the office, especially when the office is your dining room table or the spare bedroom, is real. You have to take time out to decompress, to reconnect with your life and who you are outside of advocacy. Rest, reconnect, and re-energize. One of the ways to not burn out is to approach your advocacy in a way that you don't go there in the first place. Play to your strengths, but be aware of your weaknesses. Take what you love to do and are good at and frame your work around that. If you are an amazing writer or storyteller, use that skill to promote the message that you want to convey. If you're a people person and you enjoy engaging in schmoozing, then be the one to trudge the streets to tell people the good news. If you are an introvert but love computers, create libraries and resources for other advocates to be able to access information on research, science, and policy. Find the resource person who can assist you in the skills that you do not feel strong in. Talk to each other. We are a community, and the community supports each member for the benefit of the whole. We all have different skills, and what may have worked for one can be adjusted to work for you. Sometimes we have to lose the battle to win the war. And what seems like a loss in the beginning may just be a win down the road. In summary, we have to step out of ourselves to see the bigger picture. Just remember to step off of the crazy train once in a while. Have a feed, a drink of water, get some fresh air, and feel the warmth of the sun on your face. Also, don't forget sunscreen. <laughs>